everybody, welcome back on MDG Media. This is the second round Frontline FPO lead card of the Vortica Disc Golf 2024 Paradise Plates. We are about to witness something. Let's go. Zoe in the lead with a plus one yesterday. As you can see, she was battling top of the field for the last two tournaments in the Nationals and Taupo. We have Haley, the NZFPO icon, finished third in Bottle Lake and Nationals also, representing RPM Discs, the local brand, plus two yesterday. Then we'll have Hannah Starzinski. 867 rated player not representing anybody coming from Canada she played a plus two also yesterday and last on the teapad we'll have Nicola Stout from Invercargill not too far from here 866 rated player six in Bottle Lake third in Taupo only five players in the field. We can thank Vortica Disc Golf, we know RPM and all the brands involved to make this tour possible. And we are starting on hole one, obviously, par 380 meters. Two options here you can go straight to the basket or slightly higher on the right side of that tree in the middle of the fairway no OB, no main danger on this hole just trying to navigate between all those trees again let's see how the players handle this Vortica Disc Golf and Zoe with a fairway driver in, the, in her hands I think she was trying to go right gap, but she made it straight. Decent result. She'll be around maybe C2. Oops. And as you can see, it's still really hard to have a view from the catch cam. But yeah, too much right for Haley. Hannah. Third on the tee. <laughs> and Nicola with a fairway driver. Yes. Yeah, slightly overcooked it seems. But yeah, on this first hole it's not the longer hole, so it's definitely possible to handle any mistake from the tee pad. Yep, good result for Haley. Should be an easy par to start the round. Same for Nicola. Good patent pending approach. And a forehand for Hannah. Yep, she will have some work. Okay. Should be three pars and maybe a fourth, depending on Anna's putt. Good one. So we'll have a par frame to start the round. Nice guys, ladies. I'm sorry. So yeah, we are back into the woods. into those first nine holes only black good job and on to hole two EDO Sports and we have a par three 110 meters it's I'd say one of the hardest at least to reach a birdie and even to fight with a par you need to keep your disc low because there is a lot of branches in the way, straight shot, no major danger, any OB, nothing. And again, hard green to reach, really a fight, you know, trying to place yourself, put 
yourself in position to attack it after the first shot. As usual in those paradise plates woods. Try to navigate between all between all the trees. And it's an early kick right side for Zoe. Okay, good flex from Haley. Late release. She'll be right side. Hard to reach the basket from there. Ouch. Yeah, early. Too much angle. Get back. If it can avoid all those trees. Yeah. Gentle kick for Nicola. Center of the fairway, and Hannah still has a lot of distance to make from there. But a good, yeah, decent shot. Unfortunate kick. Good approach from Nicola. And she will have another par possibility from there. Six, seven meters from the pin. Oh. Strong branches that stopped Zoe's disc. The line looked pretty nice and good up from Hannah. And an upside, yeah, amazing shot, amazing recovery from Haley from right side of the fairway. <laughs> and good line, need a bit more push for Zoe, maybe a bit too much right also. Let's see if Haley is still comfortable on the green today. She is. Second part of the round. <clears throat> Excuse me. And a bogey for Hannah. Pretty nice, pretty decent results after that tough, uh, tough drive from the teapad. Bogey. And I think another bogey for Zoe. Ah, it's even a double. Yep, she'll need to recover and, and work to get back those two strokes. And Wino is presenting you hole three. Part 373 meters, going uphill all the way. Yeah, try to take that gap, stay straight, because if you are in the middle of those bushes, below the screen now it's really hard to get out and save the par it's pretty fun hole knowing that there is a huge uphill slope so you can not attack the basket your disc won't glide too far but first and before thinking about that try to hit the window <sighs> oh wow really early More hand option for Hannah. Yep, she's around. Oh my god, same tree as Haley. But the kick is definitely worse. Wow, and that's late. Yeah, but she almost went through everything. She could be fine. Mm -hmm. 
And that's what I'm talking about. She's in the middle of those bushes. Center of fairway, it's really hard to get out from there. We'll see how she can handle this. Yeah, now it's really hard to see who's playing. I think it was Nicola, left side. And as you can see, there is still a long way to the basket. Ouch, she's in trouble. Yeah, definitely too much turn. Oh no way. Ah, the upshot deserved definitely better than this. It even landed flat so it could have stayed. This is good control, good shot from uh, Zoe and a good shot from Haley. This one is staying there. Yep. So I'm not sure what will the score of Nicola will be on the whole, but yeah. yeah. So double bogey on Haley. Wow, quadruple. And as you can see, it's only 73 meters, but it looked really hard for the group. And Hannah, yeah, is saving the honor of the lead card. Good par from the Canadian player. Onto hole four, par three, 100 meters, downhill shot. So you'll go by this gap where the drone is going right now. Again, you try to navigate and take the gap. It's really wild. You need to miss a lot of branches, a lot of trees. And you try to arrive somewhere here where the drone is exactly now to have a birdie possibility because it's possible you just need to trust your your line trust your disc let it fly flat fade and go to the basket when oh, hannah okay hannah is going Yeah, not sure where she landed. Again, it's really hard and it's important to remind everybody that is watching the coverage, it's really hard to film this golf in that kind of woods. Everything can happen to the disc, so you need to be 100% focused and sometimes you cannot do anything. It depends also on the players. Good shot from Haley. She'll be around C2 to take a birdie and to potentially take back one of the two strokes she lost on the previous hole. Zoe and Haley are now at the same score, plus four, and Hannah is in the lead. I didn't mention it, but the Canadian is the leader of the tournament after 21 holes. Okay, not the easiest footing for Zoe. She'll have a C2 opportunity also from there. Hmm. And good little roll for Nicola. Oh! Amazing throw in from Haley. Back to plus three, amazing shot. 
So it's between a putt and a, and a small approach motion. Oh, and Zoe nearly follows the rhythm. Wow. I think Haley is going to take two strokes on Zoe and two strokes on Hannah also. She'll be back in the lead with this. Clean up for Zoe and for the rest of the group. And we have now a new leader. Everything is going pretty fast in those woods. Plus three, plus four, plus five now. Zoe is third on the board. Thanks to Edio again for sponsoring the tour down under. An amazing support for from the shoes brand. On to hole five, par three, 95 meters. Again, as you can see, there is a straight line to the basket. There is also a gap on the right side, slightly higher shot. Again, really hard to say what the game plan is here. And again, as I mentioned it on the first four holes, but you need to navigate, find a way to go to the basket between all the trees in your way. It's really hard, no major danger, no beelines. The only enemy here is the wood. Yeah, decent. She chose the right side. Good result for Haley. And what an amazing throw in she just made on all four. 25, 30 meter shot inside the chains into the heart. Forehand option for Hannah. She looks to be more comfortable with this than backhand. Zoe full focus. Oh no. Yeah, early kick, big tree. And as you can see, guys, it's really hard. Everything can happen to those woods. You can from a round to another go from an amazing round. You can go two, three, four down. Same for the ladies in the and the MPO field. And then if everything is against you on the second, you could be yeah, forced to fight and scramble all the way to hole 11. And that's the beauty of it also, you'll say. Fight against nature and yourself. Yeah, I remember this one. She went down and fortunately this little branch helped. And it's tough, guys, you, you don't imagine. But the footing, all those hills in the woods, with the roots, with everything, you need to be careful. You need to be focused. You can get really tired after that kind of round. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good save from Zoe. Important one. Not letting any gaps to be created between her and Haley, who takes a par, clean one, clean scorecard until now, unfortunate double bogey. I won't say it's one of the easiest hole, hole three, but so short, it should be easier for those players. But that's not my role to say that. So we have Nicola that went up from down the hill and an amazing save. Even if uh, even if it's for bogey. Good one. Oh 
onto hole 6. Par 3, 80 meters, it's one of my favorites. Straight line, amazing. Again, no OB. But you just need to fight those two big trees and if you are able to go in between, you can just go straight at the basket. It's a better mid-range shot, maybe a fairway if you don't have the distance. And again, you try to navigate between the trees. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunate. The line was pretty okay. The fade was was arriving for Haley. And that's a good shot. After a good save on the previous hole, now Zoe is doing the job from the tee pad. She needs a first bird on this round. Too much red and purple for the moment. Oh, and she went through the bench. Again, I think it's C1's edge opportunity for Nicola from there. And the gap between Nicola and the three other players is huge. We already have 14 strokes. So there is definitely a fight for fourth place and for the moment for the first. We'll see uh, how everything is... Uh, going good up from Haley yeah, early Need a bit more power also pushing from the legs transferring the weight a bit more for Hannah Haley is grooving at the moment She's cruising, easy peasy. She knows the place, she has the experience on this course. She needs to use it. And a good bird from Zoe. Now one stroke from Haley. It's still tight, Hannah is definitely in the battle for the moment. And we are now on hole seven. Again, par 390 meters, you have a super tight, it's maybe the tighter gap you have on the front nine, but it's a straight shot, has a lot of holes previously, again you try to navigate between all the trees, no major OB danger anywhere, the only thing you need to take care of is uh, the glide and the power you put into your discs from the teapad because if you go through everything and you put too much power you will go down the slope and the hill behind the basket. So we had the problem yesterday and it looks like she's going to do exactly the same. Okay so today she touched the ground before. She won't be as far as she was yesterday but she's down. Hmm. Yeah, you can see Haley didn't put the whole motion. She looked a bit shy on this drive, but she's okay right side. There is a lot of windows there. Same for Nicola, not the best shot, a bit early, but good kick. She's in the in the middle of the fairway. She will have a gap to go to the basket. And that's a good drive. A bit more height would have been amazing. But good shot from Hannah. Maybe an opportunity to have a bird. And the first green on the card. Yeah. Good shot. Haley will add a black spot on the card. And a bit short, I think, from Nicola. Good up, though. And Hannah. Ah! 
Not sure from this angle if it was too low or a bit too much right. And this angle makes me think about the one yesterday. Good up. A bit lucky, I think she hit some tree. And as I already said, but you really need to adapt to what you have in front of your eyes on this course. You can have a game plan, but uh, it's also easy to just say, we'll see what happened tomorrow or later if you're not already playing around, but you understand me. Everything can happen. There's a lot of scramble. It's a different type of game. And hole 8 is now on. Par 4, 135 meters. It's definitely not, a, not the longest par 4 you've ever seen in your life, but it's a really hard one. It's possible to eagle it. We've seen it before. The MPO field made it happen a couple of times during the weekend. For the ladies, it's maybe a bit more hard, but it's possible if you make your disc glide, turn, keep the line. There's a lot of variables to, to take care of, but if you make it happen, you can be around the basket to go for a blue and for the eagle. So we'll see, but again, try to get straight, to keep your line, to be in that window and see what happens if you kick a tree, I guess. We'll see some scramble, I promise. Good line. Yeah, needed a bit more turn. But yeah, she made a good way to the basket, good distance. She went through a bit on the left side. Come on. Oh, going through everything again. Not again, but also. Good job from Haley. Good amount of distance done. Good control from Nicola also. It's definitely better than yesterday, guys. It was hard yesterday for the, the group. Going right and left and everywhere. Wow. She controls those forehands. Good job, it looks super smooth from Hannah. Yeah, she'll have a C2 opportunity to have a bird. Maybe the first of a round. Yeah, not sure about distance she's from the basket, but it's definitely okay. And decent result for Haley. Mm -hmm. C1 hit for Zoe and for Bird. Huge difference between today and yesterday. It's cool to see. Step there, yeah. So it should be a par for Haley. Let's see if Hannah is able to capitalize. Yes, she is. And a good three for the Canadian player. Back to plus four. She looks happy about it. A bit shy. But good one. Same for Zoe. Two birdies on the hole. And yeah, Zoe is starting to find her game. Two birdies out of the four, the, 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 the last four holes. Good performance. And apart from Nicola, same for Haley. Amazing. Yesterday we had purple and and red and yeah it was hard and today we are all fine and we are already on hole 9 guys 67 meters part 3 again no B on this hole you just need to navigate so it's definitely not the gap the drone is hitting you need to go for it's the right side of this big tree right side of the frame right now 
so yeah you don't go there you try to go slightly higher control the, the power the distance let the disc fade and try to reach the C1 I'd say one of the easiest opportunities to get a bird I must get and it looks pretty okay early I thought it was a bit more wide from Zoe but she has a putt from there Wow, and Hannah is going forehand. Yeah, a bit too much right side, but I think she's around. Ah, we had not the pan to the basket, unfortunately. Oh, and it looks better. Needs to get down. Hmm, for sure there is a tree. But yeah, I think Haley is C1's edge from there. Aich. And apart from the huge mistake she made on hole 3, Nicola was having a pretty decent round. It's unfortunate. Oh, good, good try from Zoe, a bit shy, a bit too low. And Haley, yeah, Amazing! Another one, and even on the round. Good front line from Haley. Back in the lead. Ouch. It was makeable. Nearly in. Well, confidence on the green shown by Nicola. Six bars. Two small mistakes. One huge. But yeah, solid front nine from Nicola. Um, I like what I'm seeing. Same for Zoe, she had to enter the round. She was a bit late, slow, but she's there now. Minus two through the last five holes. So we have Haley Flintoft in the lead. Only two strokes between three players. Super interesting battle until now. 27 holes left. Guys, thank you for watching. It's a pleasure to make this coverage happen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. And see you on the back nine.